So Google just released a brand new version of Google Earth for Android tablets, uh, actually for Android phones too, but most of the new features are available only on tablets, and I'll show you a few of those features here. Uh, the first one you'll notice right away is that it has 3D building support in it, uh, the first on any mobile device that I'm aware of, and it's uh, really quite good. Here we are looking at Atlanta, and as we zoom in, um, here's like the Georgia Aquarium, the buildings load a little bit slowly, even over Wi-Fi, but really not too bad. Uh, there you see, I compared it very closely with the desktop version. It's the same textures. They don't compress them down anymore for the mobile or anything. And really, it moves pretty well considering all that's having to do. It is a little bit slower than without the buildings, but shockingly good overall. Um, next, you'll notice the controls in the upper corner. There's no more of the having to use the fake menu button like uh, phone apps normally are on the tablet. It actually has the real controls up there. A nice search feature you can tap and search, um, including voice input. The north indicator, you can just kind of, it's basically like hitting R in Google Earth on your desktop, resets the view to straight down, uh, pointing north. A locator to find you based on GPS. The layers, uh, it's most, mostly the same layers aside from the buildings that are now in there. Uh, the way it handles photos is kind of neat, so we'll turn that one on. And then the last button is just the settings, uh, some of that basic kind of stuff. But we'll take a quick look here at the photos as well. You'll see the photos pop up similarly to, I guess it's more like the old version on Google Earth. It doesn't have them grouped into the little categories. It's all the individual photos. Um, but now when you tap on one, it pops a neat little information bubble that talks about that photo, and you can close it back down. And so it's kind of cool as you're panning around and looking at things. Kind of tilt up here, get a better view of that. Tap on the photos and see the views that people see from there. It's kind of cool. And then we'll take, we'll do the search here real quick too and kind of look. We'll go to like the Turner Field, uh, home of the Atlanta Braves. I always like that model. It's not the sharpest out there, but it's it's really pretty solid. So we'll fly there. And you see it flies pretty quick. Um, it's taking a second to load here, some textures. We're over Wi-Fi, so it should be fast. And it's not been this slow before, so. Um, and there's Frank talking to me right now, probably about this very thing. So we'll um, zoom into Turner Field, and you can see uh, it's a little slow to load textures, but really not bad at all. Um, and the field itself looks great. The model looks as good as as good as it ever does. Uh, it responds well as you twist and turn and pan. And uh, all in all, I'm very impressed with this update. Like I said in the post, I hope they'll eventually add some KML support to it because we're still lacking that. Um, but I'm excited to see finally see 3D buildings in here, and it's quite awesome. So uh, read the post, leave your comments. If you have a chance to try it, let us know what you think. Thanks.